Hello and thanks for watching this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use 3D models with Bluff Titler. 3D models with Bluff Titler. Now I know everybody out there has seen these really cool shows uploaded to the website um, with 3D models like airplanes flying across the screen with smoke trails and uh, UFOs or a building maybe, maybe an automobile racing across the screen. Or maybe just a stage where you can put your um, uh, other 3D um, models on. So I'm going to show you how to do that uh, real quick. It's easy. Um, I know it can be confusing, but I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is open up your web browser. And I want you to go to a website called SketchUp.com. SketchUp.com, okay? Now, once you get there, I want you to go to their download page their download page click on the download link and you'll come to a window like this it allows you to click on links to download the appropriate software for the version of operating system that you are currently using okay in this case i want you to download this sketchup make sketchup make now it's a free a version of their software it's a stripped down version of their pro software but you know what it has way more features than a beginner um, 3d modeler is going to use and it certainly has everything that we need to do um, to import um, 3d models into bluff titler okay so click on one of the download links that's appropriate for your operating system download the file and double click on it to install it um, it's a .exe executable installer file, and it, it will install SketchUp on your computer. Okay. Now, after you get that done, and it's installed, SketchUp in, uh, Make is installed on your computer, I then want you to um, open uh, your web browser again and open your um, maybe Google search. And I want you to type in 3D Rad Exporter sketchup plugin we're going to download an exporter plugin for sketchup that will allow you to export 3d models to the format that can be used in bluff titler okay 3d red exporter sketchup plugin okay now i come up with a window like this and i'm just going to click on one of these links this right here um is a Ruby library. Ruby is a programming language. But you don't really need to know that. But uh, there's 3D Red Exporter uh, plugin. You can click on the download link here and download the file to a directory or your desktop on your computer, somewhere where you uh, know you downloaded it. Now I want you to go where to wherever you downloaded it in your computer, and I want you to um, extract the file out of the zip file. This is a compressed um, zip file zip archive you can uh, right click and click on extract all and it will just extract it to the local directory current directory it will extract a file called 3d rad exporter rbs rbs simply stands for ruby script uh, a programming language that um, sketchup uh, understands okay so now that we have this script i want you to right click on it and i want you to copy it Okay, copy, and I want you to then go to the installation directory where SketchUp was installed, wherever you uh, had it installed, go to the SketchUp directory, and underneath that directory you'll find a directory called Plugins. I want you to go to the Plugins directory by clicking on it, and I want you to right-click and paste that 3d red exporter.rbs file into that directory okay i've already done it it's right there okay the next thing we're going to do is open sketchup okay now some of you may have already opened sketchup you were looking at it well i want you to close it and reopen it so that it it rereads all those directories and all the plugins because we just installed one okay all right we open sketchup and we check to see where our plugin is. Our plugin will be on the top menu bar. You'll see plugins. 
look for a directory called 3D Rad. 3D Rad. That's our plugin we install. And 3D Rad has many exporting options available. Um, what we're interested in is the export as generic DirectX include backfaces. Okay. All right. Now that we have uh, SketchUp installed and we have the um, exporter installed, let's go find a 3D model that we can use in one of our shows. Um, the wonderful thing about SketchUp is SketchUp has a SketchUp 3D warehouse. It has thousands of free models that you can download to your heart's content and uh, use in your uh, Bluff Titler shows. Okay? So you can get to it by clicking on this link right here on your menu bar. And if that does isn't there, you can just go to the file, go to 3D Warehouse, go to Get Models. <clears throat> okay? Click on Get Models. All right. Now, the 3D Warehouse opens up, and there are thousands and thousands of 3D models that you can use. Okay? The uh, intro page only shows you a handful of them, but trust me, there's there's way more than you can imagine. Okay, um, so let's uh, select a simple 3D model. Let's look for a microphone. Okay, maybe you want a microphone sitting on a, a table in your um, in your uh, Bluff Titler show. Okay. So we search for all the microphones, and we come up with these. There's there's tons of them. I mean, you can scroll forever on this and um, find microphones. Let's look for one in particular. Let's look for microphone. Let's look for an SM57 Sure microphone. There we go. We got a Sure SM57 microphone. And there's all kinds of them here. So let's just grab one here. Let's grab this one. I clicked on it. That's what it's going to look like. Now we can click on this download link right here and download the model. First thing it asks me is, do I want to load it directly into SketchUp? You can save it to your disk by saying no, if you want to keep a library of uh, 3D models. Or you can load it directly into SketchUp without saving the file. Okay? I'll just say yes and load it right into SketchUp. And there we go. Now, move your mouse around and you'll see that your model is moving because it wants you to place it somewhere in your scene. Okay, I'm going to place it right at the vertex here. Okay. Here we go. I placed it by simply left-clicking the mouse after I put the model where I wanted it to be. Now, let's zoom in on it and see what it really looks like. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Um... We can center it a little more for one. It doesn't really matter if it's centered or not. And you can click off of it by selecting this um, arrow here. All right, that's the select arrow. And that's what the microphone looks like. It's really cool, isn't it? So we can rotate it and look around it and see. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Great 3D model we can put in our, uh, in our Bluff Tyler show. Okay, now we want to select the model by clicking the select arrow and drag a box around the model that we want. There we go. That's what we're going to export. Now we go up to our plugins directory and we go to our 3D Red plugin and I want you to go down to the export as generic DirectX file. There's two options. Now I want you to use the include backfaces and I'll tell you why. If you download a model of an automobile and the automobile has a windshield that you can see through. If you don't include the back faces, when you see through the windshield, there won't be anything on the other side. You'll see right through your model. Like if there are seats in the in the model, you won't see those because those are your back faces. Okay? There won't be any interior to the car. Or or if you have a house, you look through the windows, you look right out the other side of the house. No interior. Okay? So let's click on that okay now it wants me to name the microphone I'm going to name it SM57 okay and it wants me to 
I'll save it. So I'm going to save the SureSM57.x file. I'm going to save it to my desktop. That's pretty simple. I know where that's at. Here we go. Save. I already had a model there, but I'm going to replace it. Yeah, sure, let's replace it. Now it tells me the model was exported successfully. Wow, look at that. Now we have a 3D model successfully exported, ready to use for Bluff Tidler. Okay, so let's close our SketchUp Make. We don't need that any longer. Let's go into Bluff Titler. Okay. Now I've already opened a untitled um, show by going to New Show, right? And open it here. I'll just open another one. New. I don't want to say that. There. Now let's get rid of this Bluff Title. That's all great and everything. And it's a wonderful program, but I really don't need this layer. So we go down here and we'll delete that by clicking Delete Active Layer. There. Now we're ready to import our model. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. We select Add Model Layer. You can click on this little icon here on the toolbar. Or you can go up to Layer. Add Layer. Okay. And go down to add a model layer there we go now it's asking me hey where's your model at well I'm looking for that sm57.x file so click on my desktop and there's my model file look at that highlight it click it now click open boom there's your 3d model in bluff tighter and uh, how do we know that's a, a 3d model well Pretty simple. Let's select our camera. Okay. Let's select rotation. Now, you know what? Let's select the model itself. That'd be better. Just to show you that it's actually a model. Now, we'll select rotation. Let's, let's rotate the model. Um, we'll, we'll click on the model. Look at that. Wonderful. A beautiful 3D model of a microphone right in Bluff Titler that um, that we can use. You can add text around this now. Um, do whatever you want with it. So that's how easy it is to put models into Bluff Titler. All right, enjoy. Thanks for watching.